My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. So Watch Dogs 2. Here's going to be my review for uh, Watch Dogs 2. Now, I already know going deep into this sucker that I got to watch my words very carefully. If you don't know, it's like a... It's like a running joke, I guess, on this channel. <laughs> it's just like a running joke that when Watch Dogs 1 came out, when I did my review for it, I gave it a 9 out of 10. Ever since then, suckers haven't let it go. <laughs> like, suckers always feel the need to remind me that I gave Halo 4 a 10 out of 10. Don't ask. At, at, I would never give it. <laughs> Today, I would never give Halo 4 a 10 out of 10. And I gave Watch Dogs 1 a 9 out of 10. Albeit, granted though, I was starting out, like that's when I was like really starting out doing reviews. So I wasn't really still comfortable, you know, with really expressing like my thoughts and stuff like that. But suckers don't give a freak about all that. <laughs> the point is I gave Halo 4 a 10 out of 10 and Watch Dogs 1 a 9 out of 10. So I already know suckers going to be like, <laughs> what you going to get Watch Dogs 2? But I have matured a lot since then. I can uh, articulate and elocute my thoughts a lot better i got that word from uh stephen a smith because he always uses that word <laughs> but uh yeah so here's going to be my uh review of Watch Dogs 2 now if you guys don't know Watch Dogs 2 ain't selling nowhere near <laughs> from from what i hear compared to Watch Dogs 1 this junk ain't selling nowhere near to you know uh how Watch Dogs 1 was selling. and maybe it's because you know, with how they went about, you know, with Watch Dogs 1 and when it finally came out, it had the downgrade. It wasn't what people expected. A lot of people consider the game a flop, you know. Um, I still somewhat enjoyed Watch Dogs 1, but even I would admit today, yes, it was a disappointing game. But um, so, yeah, Watch Dogs 2 is not selling. Um, I'm not I'm not saying it's not selling well, but it's definitely selling at a much slower pace than Watch Dogs 1. So a lot of people are skeptical of, of this game. So I've been playing this game uh, since day one. You know, I've done some uh, online mo uh, some online multiplayer vids. You know, I've beat the story, stuff like that. Is Watch Dogs 2, should you, should you get this game possibly this Christmas? Is this a game that you should have your eyes on? I'm about to let you know all that and more in this review. So, uh... Watch Dogs 2, is it worth the 60 bones? Starting off with the story in Watch Dogs 2, uh, the main important thing is Aiden, <laughs> Aiden, Aiden Pierce is not the main protagonist in this game. A lot of people thought that Aiden Pierce was a terrible protagonist, had no personality, sucker was born as freak. So one of the main things that they changed in this game is they have a new protagonist. His name is Marcus and he's a black guy and this game takes place in the Bay Area to where all the Golden State bandwagon fans are out there, you know? So they replace uh, Aid and Pierce with Marcus. And uh, Marcus, he is a much more likable guy. I think he's 24 
years old at the time. He's unemployed. You know, he doesn't really have a lot of stuff going for him because of his uh, record. But he is a hacker. So he uh, meets, you know, uh, a group of friends that also share his same interests. So they decide to form this group called DeadSec. And they are trying to pretty much uh, take down this uh, force called Bloom, who pretty much is like doing a lot of corrupt things you know behind the scenes you know to all the people out there but they don't really know about it so dead sec you know forms this group to try to take down bloom and try to expose you know uh bloom for what they're actually doing to the uh public this this story doesn't take itself as seriously as the first one but it's still watchdogs it's it's not like you know what saints row did with i think was it saints row three and then Saints Row 4 got, <laughs> remember when Saints Row 4 got out of hell, came out, it was like, is this even Saints Row anymore? <laughs> like, it, it, it's not like that. Like, this is still Watch Dogs 2. It just has a lot more humor in this game. And I think that was the best thing that they could do for this game because it works. It made the story better. In my opinion, the story flows better. And sometimes it does get serious. And when it does, like, it's actually fun. So I, I, I thought the story was pretty good you know for what you know for what it was you know so uh that's good um moving on to the uh graphics now the graphics was a huge issue in the first Watch Dogs, mainly because when we first seen Watch Dogs one what e3 was it was it e3 2013 i think or 2012 i don't know but when we first seen Watch Dogs one jump look freaking amazing we're like oh my gosh dude like i have to get this game when the ps4 comes out and when it came out Ubisoft pretty much finessed us <laughs> and like there was a downgrade you know that was saying it was like this is not what I seen at E3 2013 so you know uh that's really not a problem this time around you know they didn't really try to you know sell you false hope you know as far as the graphics go Watch Dogs 2 doesn't look bad by no means but you know uh nothing as far as the visuals go, nothing really, like, you know, blows your mind. But it, it, it still looks like, you know, a good game. On the original PS4, it runs at 1080p, 30fps. If you have a PS4 Pro, this is a PS4 Pro enhanced game. So you so you can play it at glorious upscaled 4K. <laughs> I, I think a Digital Foundry said it runs at 1800p um, and 30fps. But the thing is, if you play it on the PS4 Pro... Uh, the frames tend to dip so on the ps4 pro uh version is 1800p 30 fps but the frame rate dips you know sometimes to like 29 28 27 26 even on the original ps4 is 10a is 1080p but it's locked at 30 fps so i mean now you gotta put in you know this whole ps4 pro stuff and talk about you know how the graphics can look different so it does look better on the ps4 pro but the frames dip and the original ps4 the frames are locked but it's at 1080p so the gameplay is one of the main things that i think they really worked on in Watch Dogs 2 this gameplay is so much better <laughs> than the first one bro i think that's really where Watch Dogs 2 you see the difference from Watch Dogs 1 to Watch Dogs 2 the gameplay is so much more enjoyable in in this i, I i'm gonna say this jump right now Watch Dogs 2 is one of the funnest games I've played of 2016. This junk is fun as heck. They made a lot of improvements from the first Watch Dogs. So, in the first Watch Dogs, you know, the whole thing about Watch Dogs is hacking. But in Watch Dogs 1, it was like, yeah, the hacking was there, but it, it got old pretty quickly because, yeah, you could hack traffic lights and you could hack into ATMs and steal cash and you could hack cameras. But after that, it was like, that's it, <laughs> you know, in Watch Dogs 2, the hacking has so many more layers to it, it's improved a lot, like, there's, act like, the hacking is actually, like, a huge part of Watch Dogs 2, like, you're constantly hacking into things, you know, you have to, like, hack into freaking systems and, like, and, and, like, try to, you know, solve this, uh, puzzle, you could hack into robots, drones, uh, 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 free, freaking cars, uh, inside houses, like, and just the stuff, and just the way they, like, will use the hacking in some missions, it makes it so much more enjoyable. The hacking, I cannot stress enough, is probably 
the biggest improvement you see in Watch Dogs 2. Like, it has so many more layers to it. The hacking has so much more depth to it. So, that's one thing I will uh, give them a round of applause for. The hacking is so much better. Uh, the driving mechanics. <laughs> the driving mechanics. If you played Watch Dogs 1 was like one of the worst things about Watch Dogs 1. Like, where you would be in the car and you would be trying to, like, turn the car. You'd be like... Bruh, like I, I can't control. <laughs> I can't control this thing. The the driving mechanics is better in this game. You know, uh, the mission design is a lot better. Like you never really get the feeling like you're doing the same mission over. Like this is not Mafia Three. <laughs> this is, this is watching I was through. Like I thought the mission design was a lot better. Um, you know, uh, the parkour free running, just the way you move around in, in this game, that's new. I like that. You got better upgrades and stuff like that. The gunplay is still pretty much of the same of what it was in Watch Dogs 1. I still think that can be, uh, improved, you know, uh, a little bit more and just how the guns sound like they kind of do sound like some toys, <laughs> you know, for certain guns, but mostly ubisoft it seems like they listen like they improved on a lot of stuff in this game i'm not kidding like they they, they improved on almost everything in Watch Dogs too so i i gotta give them a round of applause for that this game is a lot more enjoyable um a lot more things to do the hacking has a so many much more layers to it it's actually a huge part of, of this game you're constantly you know trying to hack into things to use it to your advantage so i like all that you can also customize your appearance in, in this game you couldn't do that in the first Watch Dogs. like you could buy different hats glasses shirts pants uh, uh sneakers freaking bags and stuff so you could customize your appearance that's new um the city i thought another one of the key things that i you know that i think they did in Watch Dogs 2 that makes this a lot better than the first one is the location so i think in the first Watch Dogs, it took place in chicago i think but like the whole city was like green <laughs> it was like there really was no like color in the first while i mean there was some color but not as much as this one. This one takes place in the Bay Area, bruh. Okay? Oakland. So there, there's like a lot of stuff going on. The city has like, it's way more immersive. It feels more alive. Like people are like doing their, you know, doing their own thing. Like, you know, suckers will get like arrested and cops will actually like, you know, walk them to the cop car and put them in. Like, just to like, just a like small level of details you see you know you know with just how you know the uh, people uh act like you know in a uh, Watch Dogs 2 like you you see a huge improvement even from that standpoint so i think switching the location from chicago you know to uh, oakland was another good thing that they did uh getting to the online multiplayer now the multiplayer again i enjoyed i i i actually really enjoyed the uh multiplayer for uh, Watch Dogs 2, the thing is, it's almost the same thing for Watch Dogs 1. Because I also enjoy the multiplayer for Watch Dogs uh, 1. The thing about Watch Dogs 2 that makes it more enjoyable, even though they're pretty much the same thing, is again, you have a lot more stuff at your disposal. Like drones and, you know, RC jumpers, just different ways to hack people. So, but it's pretty much the same, just different ways to do it. But I again, I think Watch Dogs online has so much more potential than what it is they can have so many different modes in this game that can just make the online that much better but for some reason they just be like nah just put in hacking invasion put in bounty hunter put in some online co-op and just leave it like it no nah, second <laughs> like they can this on i i truly believe this online has so much more potential than what they're doing with it. And they should put in some new game types, bro. Like, Watch Dogs 2 online is really fun. But there's not a lot of modes, you know, in it. So, it does get old. If they could just add new modes. And I, and I, you know, uh, thought they should have did the same thing in the first Watch Dogs. Just put in new game types. Because there's so much different things you could do with Watch Dogs. Because of the hacking and just the way the game is. And it's an open world game, you know. So... I thought, you know, even though the online is good, it can be better, um, you know, from a content uh, standpoint. Replay value, um, 
Watch Dogs 2. Again, I I, I got to watch my words here mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's because of Watch Dogs 1. But Watch Dogs 2, I kid you not, man. They literally have improved on almost everything that was a con in Watch Dogs 1. I think the main character is better. I think the story is better. The location is better. The hacking is better. The upgrades are better. The things that you can do is better. The mission design is better. Just they, They've literally, in my opinion, improved on almost everything, you know, uh, that people had an issue with in Watch Dogs 1. You know, um, after you beat the game, there's a lot of side... And I'm talking about side mission that, like actually go in depth like it's not just so it's just it's not just thrown in there to be like you know what just uh just a toss in some, <laughs> just a toss in some uh side missions you know just to say that we have some like no the like some some of these side missions like they lead to like different stuff and like i just like again just this game is a lot more in depth and it seems like they put in a lot more effort you know uh with this game so even from a replay value standpoint, like I beat the game, I had like 70, I think, percent trophies, you know, but I still got like a lot of side missions to do. And like you and and uh, you can go to like these locations, I, I think it's called Scout X. And like you go to these different locations and like you have to take a selfie of, you know, of yourself. But like once you do that, like you unlock new things like they, they just put in a lot of other different things to do that actually makes the game more fun. So Watch Dogs 2 almost in every almost in every, you know, uh place they've they've improved on almost everything, you know, that they didn't really, you know, do right in the first Watch Dogs, and they improved in, on that in Watch Dogs 2. However, this is where that whole part of I gotta watch my words <laughs> carefully because I gave Watch Dogs 1 a 9, right? That was when I, 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 I was still getting used to doing reviews. Watch Dogs 2 is not a 9. Watch Dogs 1 was not a 9. But at that moment, that's what I gave it, so I can't really go back unless I just low-key delete the video <laughs> but i ain't gonna do that because i don't give a freak but watch dogs 2 it's improved on everything that they did in watch dogs 1 so i will give watch dogs 2 a 8.5 watch dogs 2 if you are thinking about getting this game if you just want i mean now don't expect this job I, I mean i mean in, in some people's eyes like i know some people that have watch dogs and they're like yo like this is like a game of the year contender to me I don't know if I'd say all that, <laughs> but why Watch Dogs 2 is a very enjoyable game, man. A lot of stuff to do. The story is decent. The gameplay is so much better. The hacking has so many more layers to it. The online is good, even though they can put more content, you know, in the online. They've literally, in my eyes, improved on everything that they did wrong in Watch Dogs 1, you know. But the thing is, again, because of how Watch Dogs 1 went... Watch Dogs 2 is not selling as quickly as Watch Dogs 1 was. Because Suck is just skeptical out here. And, and again, you have the right to be. Because a lot of these devs, Suck is ain't trying to spend $60 on a game that they think might be trash. So, But I'm here to tell you, Watch Dogs 2 is not trash. I'd say it is in my top five most enjoyable games of 2016. I enjoyed this game a lot. Like, way more than Watch Dogs 1. But again... I know it looks bad because I gave Watch Dogs 1. <laughs> I'm going to delete that video, bro. Freak it. But, nah, seriously, if you're, if you're thinking about getting Watch Dogs 2, you know, for, you know, for a Christmas, you know, or before this year ends, I'd highly recommend it, dude. I would highly recommend it. I personally think you will enjoy this game. It gets better the more and more you play it, you know. So, at, at sometimes it does, you know, kind of... You know, seem like uh, okay, this is cool and stuff. But I'm t- if you keep sticking with it, the game gets better and better the more you play it. That's the way I feel. They've improved on almost everything in this game. So I actually got got gotta give Ubisoft a round of applause because we all know with Ubisoft, these suckers have so many, you know, new IPs, but they always just end up being like uh, mediocre, <laughs> you know, but. Hey, it seems like they listened to the feedback that they got in the first Watch Dogs, and they've almost improved everything 
and Watch Dogs too. So a uh, good job to you guys and stuff like that. Uh, I definitely think Watch Dogs Two is worth the sixty bones. I don't. I don't regret my my purchase at all. I will be going back to this game because the side missions again they're actually fun in this junk. So uh, yeah, man, that's that's what I would give uh, Watch Dogs Two an eight point five. You know. Hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed this review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I greatly appreciate it if you rate the video, my brothers and sisters. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up. It could be a thumbs down. But what I do ask every brother and every sweet, sweet sister. Yes, I do. Every time. Every god dang time. Is it just rate the video, my brothers and sisters? Until then, I'll catch you guys in my next video, all right?